Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explain about the concept of uh, topic of uh, number systems. In this, uh, I will continue the concept of units place digit. Units place digit. In the last session, I explained the concept of units place digit that to second category which is uh, 4 and 9. If any number is ending with 4 or 9, what are the units place digit and how to calculate that particular units digit. I already told you just once recap of a previous session. See here, if a number is ending with 4, for odd power of 4, for odd power of 4, odd power of 4, then the units place digit is, units digit, then what is the units digit? 4. Similarly, for even power of 4, then units digit is 6. Units digit is 6. Now, if a number is ending with 9, if a number is ending with 9, for odd power of 9, for odd power of 9, units digit, units digit, which is equal to 9. For even power of 9, for even power of 9, units digit is 1, right? These are the points uh, that I explained in the previous session and uh, how to get all these values that are also explained. Now, in this session, I will explain the problems related to second category digits. Uh, suppose, let us take a small example. Here, first example is, uh, here the number is uh, ending with, uh, must be ending with either 4 or 9. Let us take 249 whole to the power of 126. 249 whole to the power of 126. If you observe carefully, here the number is ending with 9. Here the number is ending with 9. And the power value is even. And the power value is even. For even power. For even power. 9 power even. 9 power even. Units digit. 9 power even units place digit which is equal to 1. If a number is ending with 9 and the power value is even number, then the units digit is always 1. Let me take one more example. 364 whole to the power of 381. Here the number is ending with 4. Here the number is ending with uh, 4. And the power value is odd number. Power value is odd number, right? 4 power odd. 4 power odd units digit is always 4. 4 power odd units digit is always 4. If any number is ending with 4 and the power value is odd number, then the required units digit is always 4. Similarly, let me take one more example. 129 whole to the power of 6059. 6059. Here the number is ending with 9. Here the number is ending with 9. And the power value, if you observe the power value, here the power value is odd number. Power value is odd number. Therefore, 9 power odd. 9 power odd. The required units place digit is always 9. If a number is ending with 9 and whatever the power value that is uh, odd number, whatever the odd number, then the required units place digit is uh, 9. Required units place digit is 9. And now finally, one last example. See, here the number is ending with 4. 254 whole to the power of 846 846 now if you observe carefully here the number is ending with 4 number is ending with 4 and the power value is even and the power value is even 4 to the power of even 4 to the power of even the required unit digit is always 6 required unit digit is always 6. In this way, we can solve the problems by using the second category digits. 
here also guys here also there is a chance of giving additions multiplications subtractions by the combination of only four, fourth uh, second category or else uh, combination of first and uh, second category or else uh, one two three all combination if you learn all the three combinations uh, then it is very easy to solve the problems uh, let me explain one more example just by taking the combinations of first category and second category see 325 whole to the power of 126 plus 304 whole to the power of 649 plus 679 whole to the power of 679 whole to the power of 1381 okay this is the number okay now if you observe carefully here the number is ending with 5 here the number is ending with 5 so it belongs to first category digits for first category digits if any number is ending with either 0 1 5 6 whatever the power value then the required unit place is uh, same digit which is 5 here the number is ending with 5 therefore the required units digit is uh, 5 now coming to this case as the number is ending with 4 as the number is ending with 4 this is belongs to second category digits and the power value is odd number this power value is odd number for odd power of 4 for odd power of 4 units place is 4 and next Coming to this uh, last one, units place. Here the number is ending with 9. Number is ending with 9 and the power value is odd number. Power value is odd number. And uh, the required units digit is always uh, 9 only. If any number is ending with 9 and the power value is uh, odd number, then the required units digit is uh, 9. Now you can add all the values. 5 plus 4, 9. Next, 9 plus 9, 18. Therefore, the required unit digit is 8. The required unit digit is 8. In that way, we can solve the problems related to units place digit of second category digits. Here, it is also applicable for multiplication. Right? If you take uh, the similar example like uh, 126 whole to the power of uh, 604 into 324 whole to the power of 1216 to or 226 and next into 123 sorry 129 whole to the power of uh, 608 okay this is a number here, if you observe carefully, this number is ending with 6 and whatever the power value, units place is always 6. It belongs to first category digits. Okay. And coming to this one, this is belongs to second category digits. Number is ending with 4 and the power value is uh, even. For even power of 4, units place is always 6. Now, here it is number is ending with 9 and the power value is 8. For even power of 9, for even power of 9, units place is always 1. Now you can multiply all the values. 36. 6 into 6, 36. 36 into 1. 36 only. Therefore, the required units place is 6. 6 is the required answer. In that way, you can solve the problems related to all the second category digits. In the next session, we will discuss the problems based on now. Uh, third category digits not problems first i will explain the concept once it is done we'll go ahead with the problems guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching